The 10 minute drill. This is a big one. Covered by Universal Roof and Contracting. The difference is universal. On 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. All right, some sports concepts and rationalizations coming your way. We call it the 10 minute drill. We'll do it right here, right now. And at the end of this little segment, we've got another prize to offer up. What are we offering up today there, Beefer? Oh, Hick, at the end of the 10 minute drill, one lucky Guggen will get a chance to dine like a king. At Colhane's Irish Pub with 25 bucks oh, on us. That is good eating over there. I've been there and enjoyed a fine lunch uh, with the late, great Balls Davis at times. So, uh, kind oh, of hard. Yeah, I miss him. I miss him. I miss him. Why you got to bring up such a sour note on your I miss his, I miss his smell. I miss his musk. You guys are an SOL, buddy. Because Balls has a new best friend, and his name ain't B for Hick. Oh, no. That's right. Oh, no. Uh, my man's, is- my <laughs> man's going to be assigned to the Julianton uh, Creek uh, home office, and the two of us will be dining and uh, uh-huh. celebrating. That's great. Yeah. Time for Balls' once semi-annual a, lunch with Jeff. <laughs> now, it'll be more than semi-annual. I'll blow by you guys in about a week. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I have a, <clears throat> uh, I have a uh, question, another, uh, not a trivia question, but I guess it, it could be thought of as a trivia question. Um and it demonstrates, I, I read this yesterday, and it demonstrates a reason why maybe you're not as quick to throw out these big contracts to uh, some, of these, some of these cats. The first NFL player to win a Super Bowl making 20 mil annually. You're asking me who that yeah, was? who was that? Mm. First NFL player. I don't know when we hit the mother load. I, I would probably go back to like those late two thousands and say either like Drew Brees, maybe. Uh, he wouldn't make it twenty million. No. Okay. No. Uh, all right. What about um, Brady? No. Among his thousands of wasn't making twenty million when he won it. He wasn't making twenty million when he beat the Falcons. When he beat the Rams in O two. No. Oh no, a couple, a couple years. years. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, I see he did beat the Rams twice. Um, we've just surpassed the twenty million a year. We have. Yeah, this guy's making thirty. That's just new, though. That's new. All right. So then, uh, remember well, <clears throat> the reason why is because of the Dak. The reason why this is brought up is because of the Dak Prescott. All right, and why teams maybe. So it's not uh, Breeze, and it's not uh, Manning, and it's not mm-hmm. n- not Brady. Well, uh, you know, it's you know now it's been. <laughs> Reese very correct. Recent, I'm so. just saying, you know, me. I'm having is Mahomes didn't make 20 last year. Obviously, Mahomes is making like 800 grand. Yeah, or whatever. no, it wasn't wasn't him the year before. What the year before last? Who who won the Super Bowl? Was that the Patriots Rams? I guess it was. It wasn't mm. Brady. You say mm. uh, it wasn't Nick Foles. That's for sure. Um, I'm drawing blanks. Oh, uh, Cam. Oh no, no Cam didn't win. Peyton. No, no, no. no. Look. If Brady wasn't making twenty million a year two years ago, then it has to be somebody in the last year, right? Well, Mahomes won last year. Well, maybe it wasn't a quarterback. Oh, well, I th- you said quarterback. No, I didn't. What? Well, uh, uh, okay. Didn't. What's the question again? Then the, the only player uh-huh. to lead his team to a Super Bowl. I didn't say lead to win a Super Bowl. Who's making twenty million dollars a year? Well, more. that was just an insinuation there that it was the. Sure, it is. Yeah. Let me read you what the article says, uh, the paragraph. Cowboys, uh, Stephen Jones is right when he says there's not great precedent for quarterbacks on top of the market deals winning Super Bowls. In fact, eight years after the NFL's first $20 million per year contract was signed, so it's been eight years, we still haven't seen a quarterback making that much win one. Believe it or not, Frank Clark became the first player to turn that trick in February. Yeah, I'll Frank never, Clark. Never get that in a million That years. said, Dak Prescott has every right to draw a hard line. The time to get hometown discounts from players is when teams can buy back a year or two of injury risks. Conversely, as it stands, Prescott played out his rookie deal, incurring all of the risks, so now it's justifiably time for him to get his. But isn't that interesting? Does that not surprise you guys? A lot. Eight years after the NFL's first $20 million per year contract was signed, we have not seen one quarterback winning that much money make win a Super Bowl, which would insinuate these are the top of the line guys. But then we have watched like who are the guys who've gotten the deals recently? Matt Ryan was one, right? Now Brady's over twenty million, so he, you know he'll have a shot. I, I got to assume Rivers got what did Rivers get in Indy? I don't know. So twenty five, wasn't it? One year twenty five million? I don't know. So anyway. It's just interesting. I'm shocked that we just got to 20 because it seems like every quarterback makes 20 now if he's been around yeah. at all. Yeah. Blake never got to 20. 21, I think. Was it? 
Nick Foles got to 20. He was 22, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, Maybe regardless like of 16. the numbers, you know. Maybe the, they gave him Yeah, 16. it was like that. But anyway, so I thought that was interesting. Uh-huh. And um, Well, know, by the way, yeah. uh, it, that'll change. Now, every team will have one moving forward. Just about. Just about. I think that... Um, I think that it's uh, uh, what what a silly it's uh, man it would be hard and and anybody who works knows this there's always a little bit of salary envy or comparison I don't care where you work you can work at the pizza hut mm-hmm. and the delivery driver who's been working eight years six he needs to make more than whatever it is you know what I mean there's always a little bit of that and you're a Kansas City Chief and Frank Clark is your highest paid player oh we know we had that here an off a, a whole lot I mean the envy the salary envy the anger. The uh, you know that was very apparent. Yeah. Uh, with that within this organization. Well, that shows the, the 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 lack of, you know. The way I was always about about it is when you're making X amount of dollars and the guy comes in and does the same thing you do, gets paid more, and you're better than that guy. That's a good thing for your industry, and it means ultimately you will be paid more. But you have to get to that ultimately, I guess, to make yeah. yourself happy. So. I thought I, 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 I thought it was interesting. Uh, Breer also said that NFL teams are investigating if we have training camp go, right? Like if training camp is a, a, a go, uh, and there are so many contingency plans. Teams are that are in states with stricter social distancing rules are looking for new places that they could hold training camp for 150 players, staff, et cetera. You see what I'm saying? Social distance um... – the recommendations, not not like laws, right or no? The state's restrictions will make uh, staging camp at home in late July and early August so impossible. If it's, so you think if the Dolphins are holding training camp, so in other words, DeSantis is going to send in the armed I don't forces? Think it's, I think it's California yeah. in the Northeast as well uh, are trying to get ahead of the ahead of the scenario. Like in Seattle, the best case scenario based on the plans laid out by the state is that gatherings of over 50 people are allowed eight weeks from now. In Massachusetts, the mayor of Boston called off all festivals and – parades um, through Labor Day. New Jersey, Maryland, Virginia, California are a ways off from loosening the reins to the degree needed to hold an NFL camp. If you count 90 players, coaching staff, scouts, doctors, I'll trainers. tell you what I think will happen. If uh-huh. the NFL wants to have camp, there's something called the waiver, and it'll be signed. Yeah. And they'll get a special exemption because of the business that they yeah. that they work. Also, if, they, yeah. if the NFL wants to play, they're going to mm-hmm. play. He also had an interesting point about <clears> – <throat> The NFL really would like to stay synced up with the college game uh, since so many important offseason events at the pro level are tied directly to the college level. To that end, one thing the NFL teams have heard is the college season could start, and this is from an NFL guy, uh, October 1st with each school's non-conference schedule eliminated. Um, If that happens, it at least cracks the door a little further for the NFL to consider moving its start date back. Um, and you know, there is that wiggle room with the NFL schedule. So I, I, don't, I think the NFL happen. is speaking out of the turn when it comes to college. They don't, it, it, the it, NFL hasn't spoken. This is a reporter. Okay. Writing well, that. I think he's speaking out of turn. Yeah. Now. Because I, I tell you why, I don't think that college has the kind of flexibility that he's talking about. Mm. There's other things on campus or might be other uh, uses of your facilities. Uh, some of these weeks you can't, you're not going to be playing the games on the same Dates and times. Well, there has been before. a lot of talk about colleges playing ten game schedules and knocking out September, which yeah. is unfortunate for the college fan because you have so many great matchups in those first. Well, and it's still two weeks. it's going to mean yeah, you can push it back well, you, and you still maybe play. Do, do more of your conference games and that correct. Still but the Florida you. plays two in September, and you and you've got a full schedule from October through December. Well, you they have bye weeks. You, you, can move push it in, you can push it into December. Uh, I mean, you can what? do that. I promise you, yeah, that you can't move everyone's games without dealing with a lot of conflicts. Um, there's conflicts. Yeah, for I mean, sure. you've got to staff. You've got to staff the events. You got to have police forces. All those things are done. Yeah, months ahead of time. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you will need proof of that, <clears throat> back to hurricanes. Right. And now why they, can't we play correct. on Saturday? Right. We can't. Why? There you go. Because we can't. That's what I mean. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. We just can't. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's uh. That's what I mean. Yeah. So we'll see. So, but anyway, I thought that I still think that's interesting, and I think that's a valid. I think that's a valid point, but we'll uh. We'll see going forward. That's all to be determined as we as we move ahead. The uh, schedule release ratings were uh, released, and they were no surprise high, all time high stuff, but not like oh the TV ratings. Yeah, yeah, the TV ratings for um, 
Uh, ESPN and NFL Network, uh, neither network topped half a million viewers. ESPN averaged 495,000, but a year ago it was 135,000. Well, why? Because the NBA playoffs were on a year ago. The Yankees-Red Sox were on a year ago. Uh, Two years ago, ESPN, the schedule release was 268, so it was still 495, so still almost double. Three years ago, 227, NFL Network, the telecast went to from two hours to a four-year affair and averaged 204,000, which is up from last year as well. So uh, fairly big numbers for the uh, schedule release after big numbers for the draft, which, again, is not unexpected if you think about it. The big story this morning is the baseball. What's going to happen with that? And are we going to get through that or are we going to, uh, you know, bicker? And bicker of Beverly Hills. I, I like your no. I, I, I like your uh, suggestion. I, I thought of the same thing early. I, can I just shove this whole issue to the side and yeah, just come tell back me next no Monday done? and tell me when but we're? It good. will not serve you well to all the, all the, the 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 guts and entrails of your discussions. You know, coming to the forefront because yes. people just aren't in it. People are asked, are being asked to, you know, to bend more than we ever have as a society, and they don't want to hear the millionaires talk about how much they're not bending. So, on well, both sides. And there no, was a, um, yeah, I agree. I find it comical that these professional sports owners are furloughing and cutting people, and it's just, I mean, we these are billionaires, man. It's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. I, it's amazing to me that a man, if I had a billion dollars and I had a company and we were going to be in big problem for six months, I'd damn well pay them all for six months. I sure would. I can say that unequivocally. My God. Uh, do you know the name John Tierlink? I do. That's the uh, D-line coach who was yeah. a crusty old. He, he, he taught like the chop blocking and stuff, didn't he? Yeah, he passed away at 69. He wasn't that old. No, 69. Yeah. Uh, he coached a lot of dudes with 100-plus sacks. Uh, that's one thing that I noticed. And then... And, and, was beloved by a lot of them. So, anyway, um, I know Mathis, and he was with the Colts for a while. So, Mathis and Freeney, I think he was with John Randall. Um, in fact, John Randall may have presented, Tierlink may have re- presented John Randall at the Hall thing. So, anyway, so, so sad story there. He passed away um, yesterday at the age, yeah, way too young, 69. So, that was, um, was kind of sad, kind of sad. Yeah, he's he. Uh, that's you, you don't know D line coaches. You've done a, you've accomplished something if when you retire or pass that they know you were a D line coach. For sure, not very many. For I mean, sure. there there aren't very assistant coaches that you know if they were never you know, and especially if you're not talking about a coordinator. There's probably O and D coordinators whose names you would know. Yeah, but just to be a position coach and never be a head coach or have, um. You know, have that that opportunity. Uh, well, that's a lot harder. NFL odds are out for MVP. We'll take a look at that. Uh, there's other things to do. Um, I, I was interested in the quarterback uh, trust rankings. Trust tree. They've taken the quarterbacks from the last three drafts well, and there's 17 space. total, and then ranked them from one uh, to 17. And here's our little six rounder, the latest of anybody on the list being drafted. And he's far from the bottom of the list, so that's something else we'll look at as we move along this morning. It's Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday. Let's this do caller number two, Beef. Caller number two at 641-1010. Uh, you can head over to uh, Cole Haynes on us, right? That's right. 25 bucks to Cole Haynes for caller number two right now, 641-1010. Outstanding. <laughs> 